going to be making Marcella Hazan's tomato sauce. And why this is pertinent to such a time is because it really takes up minimal ingredients, but the sauce like screams flavor, it pops in your mouth. It's a very pure flavor that we're going for over here. So quite literally, the only ingredients that we're gonna be using today are uh, kosher salt, which is right over here. We're gonna use these two cans of whole peeled tomatoes. We have a stack of butter and two yellow onions. That's it. We have our two pots over here. We have a stock pot for the pasta to boil in and a tinier pot over here, which we're gonna make our sauce in. What you should expect when cooking this is there is going to be a bit of junk back from the sauce. It's gonna spit out at you a little bit. If you have a fine mesh net that you can put over your pot, that would be great. That way the sauce still can breathe and it doesn't have to be covered. If not, uh, you'll be like me. You'll roll up your sleeves just a little bit and prepare for slight burns. All right, let's get to it. All right, so what we have over here is we have our two canned tomatoes they come with their juice, they're about 28 ounces each. We're gonna dump all of that into the pot. Then we have our yellow onion. What we've done is we peeled it, keeping the root intact. And I'll explain that a bit later, but you just leave them whole like this and you could dump them in. And finally, we have this beautiful tower of butter. I've weighed this out. This is 142 grams over here. And that is really all that we're going to use to make the sauce. Everything else is just gonna be seasoning, so think in the way of salt and pepper and that's it. We really want this to be as simple as possible while always highlighting the flavor from the tomatoes. When cutting these onions, what you really wanna pay attention to is keeping the root intact. The reason behind that is when the onions start breaking down in the cooking process, you don't want them to separate because once this is all done, you are going to remove the onions from the sauce and discard them or saute them. Do whatever you want, really. Without further ado, let's put some stuff in the thing. So you see there's still quite a bit of goodness over here. You're gonna wanna take your trusty spatula right over there. I'm gonna see if I can go like this. As the sauce is primarily made up of tomato, you really do not want to skimp out on the tomato at all. So let's maximize our ingredients. So here we go. It's pretty cleaned out. The only reason why I'm using these tomatoes, they say, La San Marzano. They are not San Marzano tomatoes. The company is La San Marzano. That's probably important for you guys to know. You can buy these at Costco. If you're doing a quarantine shopping run, this is gonna be pretty easy for you to get your hands on. They sell them in packs of six cans like this or a giant can. It's uh, like a five pound can, I think. And so once I'm done clearing out all that tomatoiness from these uh, from these boys. We're just gonna go ahead and put our onions in. We're gonna leave them as is. Simply enough, just plop them in. You're gonna end up stirring this quite a bit because the uh, the purpose is you're gonna be breaking up these these whole tomatoes as the sauce heats up. So it doesn't matter the position. And then we're gonna put our butter in. Normally I would cut this up to itty bitty pieces which make more sense, but for aesthetic, we are gonna put the tower of butter in. Like that. <laughs> right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start stirring this up. The heat is on medium. The reason for that is because we really don't want to burn anything. It's like going to be a slow and low cook. You never really want to crank the dial to high just because it serves no purpose unless you're boiling water. And even at that point, we'll go over it later with the pasta itself, you can just bring it down. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. I'm going to be watching for my butter to melt and I'm going to be crushing those tomatoes so we get a nice consistent sauce. 
And while I wait for all of this volume to heat up, because that's gonna be a bit, we just put a bunch of cold butter in and a bunch of uh, room temperature tomatoes. We'll come to the point of how I got to this uh, recipe. When I moved out first, I wanna say like four or five, six years ago even, I uh, tried recreating our family's secret pasta sauce. This is something I grew up eating and loved all the time. My family is not a secretive family, so the fact that they were withholding something from me made me want it even more. It was our great uncle Ezra's pasta sauce. You could really hear the Italian influence in the name Ezra, but I, I to this day don't have the exact same recipe. and. In trying to recreate it over and over, I began to appreciate tomatoes more and more so, and simplicity. And what we're getting here is something that's literally, like I said before, just tomato, just onion, and a whole bunch of butter, which really kind of binds it together, not in a scientific sense, but flavor-wise. The cook time on this is going to vary uh, if you want your sauce to be on the thicker side, you're looking north of 45 minutes. Generally, when I make uh, Marcella Hazan sauce, it's gonna take me about 50, 55 minutes. You're always keeping your eye on the, uh, the pot itself. Once it starts reaching a simmer, you're gonna bring down the heat to medium low, and you're just gonna let all the flavors amalgamate. And it's gonna be this, savory, rich, beautiful mosaic that is peppered with sweetness of the onion. And while this is happening, feel free to add your, um, your salts and your peppers. I use uh, kosher salt. I actually really don't like table salt. Again, it's a preferential thing. And um, you're gonna be able to taste it for flavor the whole way through. So you can put in chili flakes if you like. I choose not to because, again, we're, we're really leaning on that purity here. So all the while, you really want to use the back of your spoon, your cooking spoon, to really crush up those tomatoes. This way, you'll have all their essence. You won't have to worry about the skin because these were already peeled tomatoes. And uh, your sauce is going to be happier because of it. The reason I chose this sauce particular for quarantine time Beside the fact that it is really easy to make and doesn't take up much ingredient is because you can have this, you can put it in a Ziploc bag and you can freeze it. So this is great for any pastas that you're going to be making. It's good to have if you want to dip bread in it. it it's just something that will warm you up and it, it's very comforting because really it's just, again, butter, tomato, and essence of onion. Depending on how much time you want to cook it for, you can really kind of play with the versatility. It doesn't have to be a sauce if you don't want it to be, you could just use it to dip your bread in. But if you're going to be using it for that benefit, maybe you want it to be a bit runnier, so keep your eye out for that when you're cooking it. I just spent some time posting uh, a picture to Instagram before about how noodles are comfort food and how I'm basically enamored with all sorts of noodles. That is a lie. I am not enamored with all sorts of noodles. I like long noodles, like spaghetti. I am uh, very particular with that. People say that the, the length or the size doesn't affect the flavor. Those people are liars. Maybe not, but it, it is all psychological. And if I don't have to struggle to eat my food, what is the point? So. I really do insist that you guys wear aprons just because it will, you know, preserve your clothes, but also, as you can see, the pot has already started spinning at me, and if you look at the pot right now, what's happening, or if you listen, the simmer has begun, so we're gonna go ahead and lower that temperature right away, and that's how it's gonna stay for the remainder of the time. The only thing that's going to suffer here, as your clothes won't be, it's your forearms! Get ready for some spicy kisses from tomato sauce. So what we have going on over here is uh, we're starting to boil our water for our pasta. We're doing that while the sauce is still going. The sauce probably has another 10 minutes left on it, we'll say. About 10 minutes. 
And why we want to do that is so that everything kind of gets ready at the same time. The pot is covered and that's because you want the uh, water to boil in this lifetime. If you cover your pot, the boil will come faster because no, none of the heat is escaping, especially since you're filling it up with cold water and you're filling it three quarters to the top. When I was, I want to say, 10 years old, my mom asked me to help her make pasta. And this was not my first integration into cooking, but I, I had already developed, you know, a want for it. So she told me to uh, go fill up the pot three quarters to the top which to this day still causes me anxiety and really started my relationship with math on the wrong foot. It did not get better, but at least now I know what three quarters of the pot full is, which is nice. But why didn't you understand what three quarters of the pot was? I don't understand. Why, why didn't I understand? I, I don't know how to visualize that, I'm a child. Like, I don't know, you didn't- What does three fractions? quarters mean? It's a fraction, it's, it's a number, that's not a visual representation. I'm very visual when it comes to learning, you're learning more about me than I am about you, but that's okay. But... We're gonna keep it going just a bit longer because I like it just a bit thicker. But what's really pretty is looking at these t these tomatoes, these onions. They're they're I, I can't really clean this off because I really don't like being burnt. But uh, they're translucent. They're cooked through, and all of that goodness that escaped the onion is now living within our sauce. Have our sauce ready and now what we're going to be ready to do is uh, use the word ready a bunch more times we're going to take out the onions again do with them what you will so long as they're not in the sauce and uh, we're going to get ready to boil our pasta I'm partial to cracked black pepper for my plate, so I usually use a heavy hand with that. And what you're smelling right now is is this rich tomatoiness with the the spice of the pepper. And I, I lose my complete marbles for pasta, for any noodle dish really, long noodles again, no short noodles in this club, maybe orzo, but this is uh, this is something I'm really happy with and it's gonna brighten up your day if it's cold outside. It, it's strictly comfort food, comfort food only. Cheers guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this brightens your day up a little or at least gets your mind off of the things that are happening in the world. Uh, take your excess sauce, put it in a freezer Ziploc bag, pop it in the freezer so that you don't have to worry about anything going bad. Use it for later, have it with uh, to dip some rustic bread in if you have any baguette. If you don't, use it for pasta. This stuff is amazing. It's so simple and you're not gonna miss 
the additives. You're not going to miss the garlic, uh, at least I don't. You're just going to be focusing on the sweetness from the onion, the the umami from the tomato, and there's that uh, that rich butter that just really encompasses all. Shoot me a line, uh, let me know what you think. Until uh, next time then, take it easy.